Ciao, frittata time! Today I will be making a frittata with sausages, spinach and mushrooms. But I'm not going to tell you all the ingredients because I'm going to show you anyway, so just uh, watch the video. <laughs> this is also going to be a potato frittata and I've decided uh, to use red potatoes because they're good for you, but also to leave the skin on because uh, it's good for you. Yeah, fiber, vitamins, helpful digestion, gut biome, all of that. To ensure they cook uh, nice and fast, cut them uh, into fairly small pieces, little cubes, between one to two centimeters each. And they go in a frying pan. Sprig of rosemary, fresh from the garden, and uh, it's wet because it's raining outside again. I'm gonna give this a very quick rough chop, and I'm adding it in. I'm putting some olive oil, maybe something like one tablespoon. Little tip, quick trick, put the lid on and hold it down vigorously, <laughs> mix it all together <laughs> while everything is still cold. And I put them on the hob for a good 20 minutes until the potatoes are cooked. Keep the lid on and they will cook much, much quicker. A couple of sausages and uh, I'm chopping them into little pieces, one centimeter each. And uh, as you will see, I'm using a different board as uh, sausages, pork, not uh, ideal to use uh, my wooden one. And I'm transferring them into a different frying pan. And I'll put them also on the hob to start cooking. Red onion, chop it in half. And then also into small little pieces. And I'll add them to the sausages. You might have noticed that I've not added any oil to this because the sausages will be releasing plenty of fat, so not necessary. I've also sliced some mushrooms and I will be adding them to the rest of the vegetables. And I'll turn the heat up so that uh, the mushrooms start cooking properly and release some water. Next, what's next? In the meantime, I will be adding a, a teaspoon of uh, passata. This is just the passata to the eggs. I've got uh, nine eggs. I will admit uh, it should have been eight eggs, but I made a mistake and put one extra. So eight should be enough, but we got nine today. <laughs> Cannot count. No. Hold for an accountant, but there you go. There you go, indeed, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, whisk it all together with a uh, uh, hand whisker. Then I ask why just one teaspoon of salsa? To give it some colour. Perfect. While I wait, I will be adding uh, some of my cheese uh, into the egg mix. So here is uh, some grated cheddar and also some uh, parmigiano, parmigiano reggiano, or you can use uh, grana padano. Actually, I think this is grana, not parmigiano. And uh, but I'll keep some for later as well. And uh, mix it in. Don't forget, you got stuff cooking here, so occasionally can I give it a little stir? Let's have a look at the potatoes. Oh, wonderful. Let's put the lid on, too noisy. <laughs> now everybody, this is my little addition. Indeed, because yes. Because I found these in the bowels of my cupboard today. <laughs> and we thought About we'll uh, try it. <laughs> so we better eat them. <clears throat> So these are peppers which, uh, as Julie said, they were in uh, the bottom of our cupboard, forgotten. And uh, they are pickled in uh, vinegar. I've actually left them uh, on top of some um, paper, some kitchen paper, to dry, because I don't want them to be too liquidy. But I'm quite excited actually, because they are nice and strong in they're flavor. They're smoked as well, I think, aren't they? Yes, they're grilled. Yes, yeah, they're, grilled. Really they're roasted. They're nice and sp um, the strong in flavor. And uh, so it'll be interesting to see what happens once we cook them. And I'm going to leave them uh, in fairly long chunks so that uh, they will be visible at the end. And I can add them down. Oh, Ooh, that sound lovely. So let's take a look at the potatoes. They've been cooking now for a good 10 minutes and they're browning, lovely. So another 10 minutes they'll be ready. Whereas over here, we've got the mushrooms and the sausages and the onion. Mm. And uh, if you look, uh, see all the water? Need to go because uh, I don't want it in my frittata. I'm going to turn the heat up now. And at the same time, 
I will be adding a couple of handful of spinach. It's really taking over. Sorry, sometimes <laughs> the temptation to stir something is just too strong. Go on, you do it. No, you carry on. You do well. <laughs> now it's hard to hold the camera and stir at the same time. A little tip, when you're making a frittata, the real trick is that uh, all of the ingredients are cooked before they go in the oven. The only thing that really should be cooking is the eggs. So that's why it's important, the preparation is, base is very critical for a good frittata, so that uh, you do not end up burning it if you have to cook, uh, for example, um, I don't know, <laughs> sausages or, or mushrooms. So everything needs to be pre-cooked before they go in the oven. So my sausages, mushrooms, spinach, blah, 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 they are cooked and I'm going to be transferring them into a plate or a bowl, I should say, and I'll let them to cool down. I'm not going to put them straight in the egg because I do not want to cook the egg yet. This will cool down for about 10 minutes. In the meantime, the potatoes will finish cooking. And everything is cooked and everything has cooled down. So I'm happy now that they can all be mixed with the egg. First thing I'll do before I forget is to put uh, some salt and some pepper. And I'll go in with my mushrooms first. And here are the potatoes by the way, if you look, they're lovely and crispy and uh, I'm gonna try one actually. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. They can naturally be eaten just as they are, but if you do, they need some salt of course. At the Don't moment, no me. salt. Don't tempt me. <laughs> no, no, you're dangerous. And I'll add them in as well. Wrong tool. I do apologise everybody if you can hear me gulping and having a cup of tea. So ensure that uh, once all of the ingredients are together you give uh, everything a good thorough mix so that uh, you got uh, a nice and uniform consistency. Mm. Can you hear the slurping? Slurp, slurp. <laughs> Now, I'm keen to make uh, my recipes as accessible as possible. So I ideally I would have used a skillet to put uh, the frittata in the oven, but I thought actually I'll use a, a baking tin so that hopefully everybody will have one of those at home and uh, you can try it. One thing I've done though, um, I've actually, actually Julie, <laughs> has put uh, very kindly some baking paper at the bottom because this has got uh, a little clip here and uh, she thinks that uh, it will leak, so... I thought we might have a, a problem. A problem. <laughs> so we, I agreed. <laughs> I agreed eventually. And the duress, it must be said. And the duress, to go with it. <laughs> but I am going to be putting... I promised to make it pretty, and I did. <laughs> yes. But I'm also I'm putting a little oil. I'm not sure what it will be like with the egg. Never done this before, by the way. So it's a first, and uh, I thought if I put some oil, I'll be safer. And uh, this is a beast. Just uh, pour it in assertively. <laughs> assertively. Indeed. And uh, distribute all of your ingredients evenly. That's going to be a whopper. Yeah. And here it goes. I have uh, halved some uh, tomatoes, again uh, this um, is mostly a presentation really, but um, I love them. So I'm just uh, putting them in so that uh, they can be at the very very top and they will look absolutely stunning. Optional, but uh, highly recommended. Push them in really if you can, so the reason why you shouldn't so that uh, they are embedded within the egg. Although I get the feeling that uh, the egg will rise anyway, so mm. like it or not, they will be in the egg. And before it goes in the oven, a little parsley, more than a little, I always say a little and then I change my mind. Parsley, mm -hmm. <laughs> to taste really, but uh, I think uh, it always goes very well with these dishes. There. Maybe some of the edges as well. And as it is, I'll pick it up and I'll put it in the oven. It's at 200 degrees. I'll do it for 25 minutes, but it's a bit of a whopper, so it might have to be longer. I'll let you know once it's cooked.
See you later. Voila! <laughs> Smells delicious. <laughs> right, I've got uh, a confession to make. As well as not being able to count, <laughs> I was wildly out of the time. It wasn't 20 minutes, it was 40. So, however, uh, what I did, uh, the first 20 minutes, 200 degrees, I did uh, the skewer test, just like you do with a, ta with a cake. And uh, when I put it in, it was all liquidy. As you can see now, it's all lovely and clean, clean as a whistle. So what I did, I it turned it down. Too long. <laughs> Clean as a whistle. <laughs> Clean as a whistle. <laughs> I turned it down to 160 degrees for another 20 minutes, but also I covered it so it didn't burn down the top. So if I was to do it again, I would say 180 degrees for 40 minutes, and maybe you can cover it for the first 20. Just like a cake, I'm going to open the tin. Oh, it's hot still, but I'll leave. That's what these are for, dear. I oh, know. Let's have a look. This is quite exciting, actually. Ooh, I'm glad I put some olive oil, though. Because it's a little bit sticky, but uh, it's working. What do you think, Julie? Mmm. It's delicious. A gentle push. I think I'm going to have to... Cut on the middle. Now I'm going to do this. Wow. That's what I was going to say. And do this. Yeah, um, it's looking so good. I kept some cheese back, thinking that uh, I put it on top, but I'm not going to put any. I think there's plenty going on and. Uh, it's fine, <laughs> I'll leave the cheese. Consistency wise, it feels absolutely great. We got a spatula here. And uh, there we have it. Ooh. Mm. It looks lovely. It's steaming hot, but lovely. I'm gonna try some now. Oh god, the smell is good. I can smell the sausages quite strongly actually. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's lovely. <laughs> really good. Um, really fluffy actually. I think the ninth egg made a difference. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, so Get the time right and uh, you will have a delicious cake and uh, if you can make it in the oven um, with a tin, great. If not, if you've got skillet, even better. But uh, this was fun. I enjoyed it. And this is a really traditional... I mean, every time we used to go to your mum, she'd always yes, have a always, yes. wouldn't she, with potatoes? And um, the potatoes are really good, actually, because uh, they give a, a bit of uh, oomph. <laughs> mm. Ciao, ciao, buon appetito. Thank you for watching and see you later.